The Scandinavian defence, or centre counter defence, is one of the oldest chess openings, dating back the 16th century. This opening tries to break White's centre and stop White from taking control. The Scandinavian defence is Black's ninth most popular response to one. E4 and grandmasters such as Magnus Carlsen occasionally play this move in tournaments. White has a few possible replies. 2. E takes d5. This is White's strongest reply, and exposes chief drawback of the Scandinavian defence. In order to recover the pawn, while not mandatory, Black must now bring out his queen providing White with a target to attack. This was considered enough of a problem to put the opening out of business for much of the mid-20th century. However, modern players are a little more comfortable breaking the rules, and the Scandinavian has enjoyed some modern popularity. 2. d4 transposes to the black ma d ma gambit. If black prefers to decline the gambit, he can steer the game into the French, Caro can, or Nimzovich defences. Black has the ability to immediately take back the pawn with two. Queen takes d5, but at the cost of a slower development. Because white can win a tempo with three. Knight c3. The other option is to play two. Knight f6 attacking the pawn. White may try to keep the pawn with 3, c4 or 3, bishop b5 check, or leave it and keep the initiative. As white has doubled pawns on the d-file, the second option is probably the best. Gambits like 2, c6 and 2, e6 are inferior and don't give enough for the pawn. In this position, black queen is under attack and must find a safe square. There are several possibilities. 3. Queen a5 is the most common. The queen cannot be attacked again, but she can pin the knight if white dares to advance his d-pawn and she can later move to b6 to target the b2 pawn. 3. Queen d6 and 3. Queen d8 are less aggressive alternatives. 3. Queen e5 check and 3. Queen e6 check the king, inviting white to play 4. Bishop e2 and weaken the g2 pawn. Of course, black cannot play 3. Queen c6. Because of 4. Bishop b5, winning the queen by pinning it to the king. By moving the queen to a5, she cannot be attacked again, she can pin the knight if white dares to advance the d-pawn. And she can later move to b6 to target the b2-pawn. This also sets the stage for developing black's pieces while setting up some threats, a much better option than queen d8. White's main plans here are knight f3 and d4 continuing to control the center and developing his pieces. Black can give their queen escape squares with a timely c6 in case it gets into danger, and can develop their pieces and go for an e7-e5 advance. Other than 4, knight f3 and 4, d4, white also has the option of 4, bishop c4, another simple development move. Most of these lines generally transpose into each other and the Scandinavian in itself doesn't have all that much theory due to it not being played too often. White generally maintains a small advantage in Scandinavian defense middle games, but black can generally hold the balance if they play correctly. White has an approximately 57% score, which is not particularly good for black but it's not particularly bad either. Even 4, g3, and 4, 
Bishop e2, a rather safe option, a completely playable. Black delays the king opponent in the center. This move demonstrates black's readiness to make sacrifices. Witty, but not enough. You can't 15. The knight takes d2 because of 15. The queen takes f2 checkmate. The Black Surrendered. If you were interested in the review, do not forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new interesting reviews, as well as write a comment and like. The next review will come out unknown when, as a business trip is planned.